And so I promise if you guys take these five courses during your pre-med years, you will do significantly better in medical school. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Michael. I'm a first year medical student and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five pre-med classes that are going to actually help you guys once you get into medical school. And so if you guys don't already know, the pre-med classes that you need to take in order to apply to medical school, and I'm talking about like general biology, general chemistry, physics, organic chemistry, those types of classes, they're not going to really help you in medical school. And the reason for this is they really don't have a ton to do with patient care and becoming a physician. And so you may be asking yourself, well, why do we have to take those classes in the first place then? And that is a very good question. I ask myself that all the time, or at least I did when I was a pre-med student. But in today's video, I'm gonna be helping you guys prepare the most efficient way possible as you guys are going through your pre-med courses. And so if this is the first time you guys are seeing one of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, go down and hit that subscribe button because it does help out the channel tremendously. It's free for you guys to do and I really don't have any other reasons why you guys should do it. It's just, you should just go down there and do it. So now my hopes of this video is that it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty short, but that you guys find a ton of value in these top five classes that I'm about to suggest to you guys. Now some of these classes you will take as part of your pre-med curriculum, but the majority of these classes are not required to go to medical school. And so that being said, a lot of pre-med students don't actually end up taking these classes and they end up struggling a little bit more than they actually need to once they get into medical school. And so I promise if you guys take these five courses during your pre-med years, you will do significantly better in medical school. Now, quick disclaimer, you don't have to take these classes in order to do well in medical school but you will make your life a whole lot easier once you're in medical school. All right, so enough chit chat. Let's get into these top five classes that I recommend that you guys take before going into medical school only to make your guys' lives a whole lot easier. Now, the first class that I wanna to mention to you guys is part of your pre-med curriculum. You need it in order to apply to medical school and that is biochemistry. You need one semester of biochemistry in order to apply to medical school. Now biochemistry is gonna play a huge role while you're in medical school. Everything you guys learn scientific wise is gonna revolve around biochemistry. It's gonna revolve around the metabolic pathways of the body, how the body uses energy, how the body gains energy, how it stores energy. It's all gonna be biochemistry related. Not to mention biochemistry is a huge portion of the MCAT and so if you're planning on taking the MCAT or if you're currently studying for the MCAT, it's gonna be so important for you guys to understand biochemistry, not only for medical school, but also to do well on the MCAT. Now here's just a quick plug. If you guys are studying for the MCAT, I highly recommend MCATSelfPrep.com. Yes, it's a website. Yes, it's a prep company but it's a smaller company. It's a more personalized company. And so if you guys are looking for a little bit extra help with your MCAT prep, I highly recommend checking them out. The majority of their content is free. Yes, they have an entire biochemistry section. So even if you don't wanna purchase anything from them, you have their entire biochemistry content absolutely free to you guys. The link is down below. If you do end up buying something, use my discount code. You'll get 10% off. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by MCATSelfPrep.com. I do get a small commission if you guys do purchase something, but in all reality, guys, I used MCATSelfPrep.com when I was studying for the MCAT. I loved it, and I think it's a really good resource for anyone studying for the MCAT. All right, so the second and third classes that I recommend, and you can't really talk about one without talking about the other, and that is anatomy and physiology. I didn't take either of those when I was an undergrad and luckily I did a special master's program where they were required and so I did take anatomy and physiology at the graduate level before going into medical school. Now if I didn't take anatomy and physiology before medical school, 
I can see how a lot of you will end up struggling your first year of medical school because the entire first year of medical school is learning how the body works when there's no diseases. It's learning the anatomy. It's learning the normal physiology. All of your pathophysiology or your disease state physiology generally comes in your second year of medical school. But by then, it's too late to actually learn the normal anatomy, the normal physiology of the body. Even though you're going to learn it your first year of medical school, it's going to be so much easier for you guys if you take it as a pre-med. And so if you guys aren't familiar like what goes into learning anatomy and physiology in medical school, let me just break it down for you guys. You will learn every single muscle in the body. You will learn all of the major blood vessels, all of the major arteries, all of the major lymphatics, the lymph nodes, the ducts. You're gonna learn all of the nerves, everything in the brain, the neck, the brain stem, the spinal cord. You're gonna be learning literally everything there is to know about the human body. And that's just the anatomy side. You're also gonna learn how it actually works. What are neurotransmitters? what neurotransmitters work on skeletal muscle, what work on smooth muscle, what drugs help promote certain things. So you're gonna be learning a ton of physiology in medical school, and so it's just gonna make your life a whole lot easier if you take anatomy and physiology prior to going to medical school. So I think we're on number four now. Um, let's just recap. We have biochemistry, anatomy, physiology, and number four is gonna be embryology. If you guys have seen some of my most recent videos, I do talk about these certain classes, but embryology, number four, is gonna be crucial your first year of medical school. And really, if you end up going into ob or become an OBGYN and work with babies, then you're gonna need to know your embryology. You're gonna need to know how the body develops, during which weeks do certain parts of the body develop. And the other important thing that goes along with embryology is how the body can actually mess up when it's developing. And so you're gonna need to know the different developmental issues, the different developmental diseases, and why those happen, where they come from, how to prevent them. And so these are all the different types of things that you're gonna learn during embryology. So if you're interested in going into OBGYN, becoming an OBGYN basically, then you should definitely take embryology as a pre-med. You're gonna get a hefty dose of it during medical school. It's personally not my favorite class at all. I think it's actually pretty difficult. And so if you can take it before medical school, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Now the fifth and final class that I recommend you guys take before going to medical school is histology. Now, I do understand that histology isn't offered at a lot of schools, but if it is offered, I recommend taking it because it's going to make your life a whole lot easier in medical school. Um, if you guys don't know what histology is, it's basically the microanatomy of the body. So different cells, different tissue types. It tells you a lot about the development of the body and like where the different cells originated like in the embryo and then like where they are now. And the other thing that's really big with histology is cancer. If you're planning on going into like oncology, then histology is gonna play a big role in your specialty. Because what is cancer? It's basically a disruption in the normal cellular processes causing the cells to over proliferate and just do all sorts of crazy, hectic things in your body, basically creating a tumor, secreting out weird hormones, and you need to know the different histologies in order to accurately diagnose which cancer you're looking at. Now the other thing histology is gonna play a huge role in, and basically the only role in, is if you wanna become a pathologist. And if you don't know what a pathologist does, basically whenever you get a biopsy done, you send that sample to the pathologist who then looks at it under a microscope, does a little bit of micro dissecting, and then they ultimately diagnose what the type of tissue is. Um, is it cancerous? Is it not cancerous? So guys, those are the five classes that I highly recommend you guys take before going to medical school. Some honorable mentions would be like a neurology or neuroscience course. That's gonna really help you guys once you get into neuro. Um, maybe something to do with the heart. So if you have like a cardiology, 
or pulmonology type of course, that will be extremely helpful. And then two other courses that I recommend are maybe pathology and then pharmacology. So if you can take any of those four additional classes, it's ultimately just gonna help you in medical school. But I think the five that I mentioned are really gonna help you your first year of medical school. Now those last four are probably gonna help you more second year of medical school, but in all reality, everyone's gonna kinda of be on the same playing field at that point. So whether you've taken those classes before medical school or not, it really is not gonna make a huge deal because you'll probably forget a lot of it by the time you get to that point, but it definitely cannot hurt taking those additional classes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.